In our work, we aim to solve the task of interactive segmentation. We focus on so-called click-based interactive segmentation. The user segments the objects of interest with positive or negative clicks. You can see how our interactive segmentation tool works. It can segment various types of objects, including those not presented in the dataset. Even small objects, for example, cat's eye or fruit stem, can be segmented with high accuracy. Common algorithms based on feed-forward approaches sometimes cannot achieve desired results at any number of clicks. However, adding FBRS forces the model to adjust the user's clicks, solving this issue. Let us see the details. The majority of click-based interactive segmentation algorithms have the backbone pre-trained on ImageNet. The backbone inputs an image and concatenated distance maps of positive and negative clicks. As an output, the model generates the segmentation mask for an object of interest. However, it is impossible to modify the network's response. The recently introduced backpropagating refinement scheme solves this issue by addressing the following optimization problem. BRS minimizes mean squared error loss only at user clicks positions. LBFGS is used as an optimizer. On current scheme, BRS iterations are visualized. Green and red colors represent forward paths for positive and negative clicks, respectively. Blue color represents backward paths to the distance maps. While minimizing the objective function, BRS modifies distance maps so that network output would be consistent with user clicks. A zoomed distance map is shown in the blue frame. The main drawback of BRS is high computational cost since one optimization iteration requires backward pass through the whole network. We discovered that BRS can be applied not only to the inputs, but to any part of the network, allowing to reduce computational costs. We propose Feature Backpropagating Refinement Scheme, or FBRS, where any intermediate layer output of the network can stand as a target optimization variable. In particular, our method modifies scale and bias of intermediate layers. We present several configurations of our method. The main difference is the position of intermediate layers that are to be optimized. In our experiments, we consider only intermediate layer outputs in deep lab v3 decoder, achieving lower computational cost of backward pass. There are two ways to modify the intermediate layer outputs of the network, pixel-wise and channel-wise. In pixel-wise approach, we optimize every value of a feature map independently. However, it results in local overfitting. Channel-wise approach is robust to local overfitting, as modifications of intermediate layer outputs apply along spatial dimensions. Along with FBRS, we introduce a novel zoom-in technique that allows to obtain more accurate predictions for small objects. Zoom-in is quite simple and can be applied to any interactive segmentation model. Let us see zoom-in technique working step by step. 1. Find the bounding box for the predicted mask. 2. Slightly expand the bounding box. 3. Crop the image by the bounding box. 4. Up sample the cropped region. 5. Predict again. Zoom in allows to obtain a better prediction without any additional clicks. We examined the convergence of the original BRS and proposed FBRS methods on interactive segmentation benchmarks. You can observe that FBRS significantly proves the metric at 100 clicks. Our method sets the new state of the art on all interactive segmentation datasets. Thank you for your attention.